Hi everyone. How are you today? You know, I'm Jess Lai and I'm really happy to be able to share my secrets with you today. All right, I know it's lunch time. So for those of you who are here, you know what? Um congratulations because what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that your lunch time is really worth it. Okay? So and the, the there's something really different in this presentation which I want to share with you guys first is that this training that you're going to watch right now is very different from the usual other training that you see. You know, you're not just going to sit there and then listen to me talk. Okay? That's not going to happen, all right? So what I want you to do is that this is a very interactive training session. So what you do is you will have to participate together with me. You'll be doing exercises together with me. We'll be doing activities together with me and I want you to be engaged and I want you to key in the comment when I ask you questions all right and today's training I can tell you is very different from the rest of the other training today we are not talking about stock investing okay because I'm not a stock <laughs> you know, I'm not a stock investor like you know I mean I buy but I don't teach people how to buy stocks okay because I'm actually not um, I think Rash you are doing uh, Rash Sean Dior are Pete Dior are doing a better job than me all right so anyway so today what I'm going to share with you is very simple now um, I'll be sharing with you even before you start uh, training, you start going for training, even before you start learning new things, you know, even before, before, before you start your investing journey, you know, you must first know how to absorb the information that you're going to learn. Okay, I'm pretty sure a lot of you are quite new right, to investing. Okay? So before you do that, you know what? You should find a way to absorb as much information as you can and that's why today my job is to show you how to absorb information how to stay focused and how to profit from your investing journey all right so let's start let me on the slides okay so now right so my company is called bioneuro Okay, I'm a neurotech advocate. Okay, so now over the last couple of years, and let me before that, let me ask you. Now, your brain does an important job for you every day. Right? Is your brain important to you? I think our brain is the most important part of our body. Right? I mean, if there's anything wrong with your your, your arms, your legs, you still can cut it off. But if there's any problem with your brain, you can't take away your brain, right? Okay. So now, so that's why today, what I'm going to share with you is how to train your brain. To be healthier how to make your brain smarter how to make you smarter how to make you remember things better how to have better focus so that you can have a breakthrough in your life over the next few weeks over the next few months all right so now so now here's a brief of what i'm going to share with you today okay if you look at it if you look at this this is the 10 habits of highly successful people but here's the thing you know what I'm not going to share this with you honestly i'm not going to share this with you because we have a lot of trainers a lot of speakers who are really good at this you know and you can learn from them what i want to share with you is something that is faster it's something that have that can shortcut your way to achieve your goal even faster than all these theories all right so now why is this training different from others first this is a very new brain development training all right so today we are all talking about the brain that's all we're talking about your brain how to make your brain better and how to turn you into the uh, super man of investing all right so and this is very cutting edge right because it's cutting edge uh, you will not see this anywhere else so asking your friends will not help you at all uh, you know so what i want you to do right now is that, is that uh, get your friends if you're watching this with your family you know what get your family to kind of watch this together especially if you're kids Right, this training itself is very suitable for kids as well. If you want your kids to have a uh, very good uh, education, you want them to top the school, you know what? You should ask your kids to come and watch this together with you because we'll be doing exercises, we'll be doing activities together with you and your kids. You can do it together. It's pretty fun. It's very fun to do. All right. You can see the changes in your kids after you do the exercises together with me. All right. So get your whole family, come and watch this together. And it will be best if you can watch this on the laptop or your computer, you know, uh, rather than a handphone because a handphone is a bit small. All right. So if you watch it on a laptop or computer, you can see the exercises, you can see the activity much better. All right. So now, so, and what I'm going to share with you is that it has actually been used secretly by the uh, military and the government. It's just that 
most of us don't know about it. But I'll show you some case study how they actually use this uh, brain uh, neural uh, technology on us. All right? yeah, it's pretty interesting. Uh, okay, later I share with you. All right, just a quick introduction. So first, I was a very lousy student, uh, very lousy. Uh, okay, and I, in fact, I failed a lot of my subjects in school. Uh, all right, and I almost failed my school. All right, because I, I don't really like to study and all. And to be honest, I tell you, even my sibling, my sisters, and my whole chain of relative none of us study uh. none of us has had very good degree at all uh, you know or even have degree uh, okay? and after that i went for the army after i finished my army i started two business and i actually feel quite badly uh. my business i actually feel quite badly uh, you know and i actually own uob you know, $180,000 in debts uh. right? that means the bank i own the bank $180,000 debts right so imagine in you when you're in a 20 plus and you're owning $180,000 debts in singapore dollar let me ask you, how are you supposed to pay off my debts when you're only 20 plus, you know? So I had a hard time, you know, I really had a hard time. So, so I told myself, you know what? I've already fall all the way down to the bottom, all right? What can I do? What else can I do? How, how low more can I go, all right? So I told myself that there's no way else I can go except going up, all right? So that's why I went to a lot of, I want to improve my miserable life. So I went to attend a lot of trainings, a lot of motivational courses, you know, trying to learn, trying to be a better person, trying to be, um, to, to succeed in life, you know. And one day, you know, one day I uh, went to do research, a lot of research online. Then I realized how to, how to succeed, how to be, you know, how to be smarter, how to be, you know, better than everyone else, you know. So I actually um, saw this uh, brain training audio, okay. This brain training audio, I actually saw it in uh, eBay. I went to Google and search, then there's a link to eBay. Then this brain training audio, basically what you need to do is just listen to it. After you listen to it, you know, it will actually boost your mental absorbency. It will grow intelligent, your sem uh, it will grow intelligent, you know, make you very clear, very sharp. Then I was thinking, what is this? How come there's such things in this world that all you need to do is just listen and then you become smarter, you know? So what I did was I actually bought the CD and that was in 2006, 2006, all right? So I still have this CD uh, in my office, all right? So that, this, is, this was like, what, 14 years ago, 14 years ago, all right? So 14 years ago, uh, I bought this CD and I listened to it. And you know what happened after I listened to it? You know what happened? <laughs> I actually had a very bad headache, uh, you know? Yeah, yeah, that was like, wow, why is it that oh, this thing is causing me headache, you know? So after that, when I read the menu, the menu say continue to listen to it. We explain that the, because imagine when you listen to it, it's actually training your brain. Imagine you go to gym for the first time. So after you go gym for the first time, what happened the next day? You have muscle ache, right? Your muscle was sore, right? So this is actually what happened to me. You know, my muscle in my brain actually sore. And so that's why I have a very bad headache. So I rest for a few days. Then after that, I continue to listen. And then you know what happened after one week? Wow, I tell you, I got shocked. You know, I feel like, wow, uh, I've become a superman. You know, I have superpower. You know, but most people will stop after they got headache. But I continue to listen. I continue to listen. So after one week, I'm like, hey, wow, how come I feel like so much better? It's just very difficult to describe. You know, it's like, how come my brain becomes so much clearer? You know, I feel so much sharper. You know, I can think better. And then wherever I wake up, I feel that, hey, I don't feel tired at all. I don't feel like I need to drag my feet out of the bed, right? I can just wake up and I can just start doing my thing, right? So after that, I realized that, hey, actually there are such things in this world that can actually help you to have a better brain, you know, to make you feel better and make your body stronger, right? So after that, I went on to do a lot of research. So I go and buy the mind mapping books, uh, you know, uh, EQ about speed reading, uh, brain age, I play games to, to simulate my brain, you know, and uh, even buy the book, this book called Brain Coach. In fact, I buy a lot of brain training stuff in my office. You can you can come to my office and see, I can show you one whole series of books and, and kits and tools on brain training. Okay, so that started my interest on brain training and make a guess what happened after a few years. Okay? From owning $180,000 debts, after a few years, you know, I grew my company from one person to 32 people. Okay, every year we do almost ten million dollar. All right, so this is what happened to me after I started my brain training. All right, so and Rash Rashfin Rashfin is actually uh, one of my student. 
he said that I'm his first mentor, you know, I'm really great and happy, you know, and we still keep in contact, keep in touch, right? So he says that, you know, everything that just touched, you know, actually literally turned into gold, all right? And this is true. Every business that I go into, all always turn into gold. The first year, we are definitely hit the million dollar mark. Okay, I will show you why, all right? So, and also, I won a lot of awards. I got awards for MP, you know, and a lot of it, like, you know, in fact, in office, I have one full shower of awards, uh, but now I stopped going to take a award because I feel that it's really quite uh, meaningless, uh, you know. And also won uh, uh, a lot of awards in network marketing. For those people who are network marketing, you know, I, I was a diamond in Gines, one of the very rare diamond in Gines, you know, and uh, in Zri, I was also one of the uh, top ranking in Zri itself, yeah. So, so there is definitely a formula, okay, to achieving success, all right. So, and not only that, now when I travel, you know, I, I usually I travel business class with my family, uh, you know, and I also, when business is good, you know what I do? I actually bought myself a very nice car. I have a Lamborghini. Then after that, I sold it off for a McLaren. Uh, you know, I'm not here to show you off, like, I guess to show off that what I have, but I just want to tell you that, you know, there is a formula to getting all these things, all right? So, uh, but actually, what I want to tell you is that there is actually a hidden secret. There is a hidden secret to my success which I want to share with you. And I can tell you one thing, even staff, even my staff, even my friends, even my family members, I can tell you, don't even know this until recently, like, you know, until the last one year, one year ago, all right? And why? Because I've been secretly doing uh, my brain training, right? I've been working on my brain for the past 10 plus year and nobody actually know about it because I do it in office, all right? And that is the reason why I'm able to achieve all this success. So now let me ask you guys, do you want me to share with you the secrets of brain training so that you can be successful in any business that you do so that you can uh, start your stock investing journey and make majority profit uh, so that you know how to pick the right stocks, uh, how to get profits without struggling? Is this what you want? If this is what you want, can you key in yes so that I know you guys are listening to me? Then I'll open up my secrets on how to turn you into a genius, right? Can you key in yes right now? Let me know if you guys are interested, then I will continue. All right, fantastic. Okay, so there's uh, quite a number of you saying yes right now. So not only that, not only I want you to say yes, I want you to share this with your friends. Okay, tell your friends, share with your friends, get them to come in because I'm going to start my training right now. I'm going to explain to you things that you have never ever experienced before. And the moment you finish this two hour, I can tell you, you will become smarter. Okay, you feel like you feel you become smarter. All right, uh, so at least, at least a few percentage smarter. It may not be 100%, but at least a few percent smarter, all right? Okay, so get all your friends to come in, get your family members to come in, all right? Get your son, your children, your daughter, your father, mother, sit down and listen together with me. This is very beneficial to every one of you in the family itself, all right? So, okay, now, what I'm going to share with you today is that, you know what, what you didn't know about your brain, all right? So, actually, an adult's brain has about 100 billion neurons, okay? Just to let you know, there's about 100 billion neurons in the adult brain. And 75% of the brain is actually made up of water, right? And if you dehydrate a little bit, uh, I can tell you, you have a negative effect on your brain. Eh? So make sure you are always drinking water, okay? Make sure you're always drinking water, especially for kids, keep letting them drink water because just a little bit dehydrate, uh, it will affect their brain performance, okay? And so now this is how, um, this is how your brain neurons look like, okay? You know, there's 100 billions of them and there's like, so many of them, no? it's like, I don't know what you call it. Huh? So, so just, if you just spoil one line or one neuron itself, okay, I can tell you, all right, you will have problems, okay? So that's why what I'm gonna do today is to make sure that you know how to make your brain better. All right, so before we start our training, now let's have, uh, let me have this quiz first so that I know whether are you smart or not, all right? So now, what is at the end of a rainbow? Can you guys tell me, i give you a couple of seconds, type in the answer, tell me what is at the end of a rainbow. Okay, I want to see how smart you guys are, all right? Let me know, now time to comment. What is at the end of the rainbow? Do you guys know? Okay, I see a lot of people are stuck. Right? They, don't know, they don't know what's at the end of the rainbow. Oh, a pot of gold, okay, all right. So what else? What, what do you think is at the end of the rainbow? 
Okay, now, okay, let me share with you. Or oh, water, some of you say water, some say power girl. Okay, now, actually, at the end of, if you look at it properly, if you look at it right now, at the end of the rainbow is actually the words, the, the capital, the character W. All right. <laughs> so anyway, I'm just uh, joking with you guys. Lah, okay, let's chill out a bit. All right. So this is nothing very serious. My brain training is supposed to be very fun. One, okay. So at the end of the rainbow is actually the word W. All right. And the character W. All right. So now let, let's explain a bit more about uh, how the human brain um, development phase is like. Okay. So now when you're born, okay, when you're born, you have 20% neurons connections. Okay. When you're born, there's, you have 20% neurons connections. All right. So after that, when you grow to about 30 years old, you have about 90% neurons connections, all right? So that is where you grow. So when you are, you will reach your peak at about 30 plus, 30 plus. But of course, if you don't take care of yourself, you sleep, you don't sleep well, you only sleep very little, you know, you drink a lot, you smoke and all that, you know, uh, you don't rest, you have a lot of stress, you will not have 90% neurons, or maybe have a 70, 80% neurons, all right? So, so once you hit 30 plus to 40, that is your, at your peak, you are at your peak. Then after that, what happened after your peak is that your neurons will start to become lesser, right? So when you hit about 50 to 60 plus, okay, you will have about 50% of neurons left in your body, in your brain, okay? And that's how God created us, all right? So after that, what happened after 50 plus? Now, if after 50 plus, if you still don't, take care of your brain, you will have dementia. You'll go back to 20, 20%. 20 All right. So you see, okay. Have you ever have um, uh, old, old, old folks in your house or people that you know, right? When they become older, they become more childish. They become irrational. Uh, they don't listen. You know? you know why? It's because they are losing their neurons. And when they lose their neurons, they'll become like, a baby, a child. So they behave childlike, right? So that's how the human brains are structured. God created us this way. So that's why now you understand, finally, you understand why some old people, the older they are, the more childish they are. They are supposed to have more wisdom, but they didn't. They become more childish, right? It is because they are losing their neurons. So now, guys, you know, this is something very important you have to understand, all right? So, when you lose your neurons, you know what's going to happen is that you have memory loss, you have mood swing, you have personal hygiene issue, you are supposed to shower, but you thought that you have already showered, you know, and you lost your decision making abilities, you have depression, you have social withdrawal, your loss of energy, and there's really nothing you can do as your brain deteriorate because we are created this way. Okay? Your brain cells are supposed to deteriorate as you grow old. You cannot, you, we are not all, we, we are, when you can never be Benjamin Button, all right? So now, and the statistic, statistic is that one in every four individuals in the world actually suffer from mental condition. That means 25% of you, right now there's like 583 of you here watching this live together with me, all right? I can tell you 25% of you, that means 100 plus of you here will have mental health conditions as you grow old, okay? I'm not joking with you. Eh? And, and out of this, I can tell you five in 10 people who are not willing to live or work with near a person with mental health problem. That means half of you, right? That means uh, 100 plus of you here may have mental problems, and half of you, your family will not want to stay with you. And this is a very sad case, right? And you know what? They all feel that, hey, wow, this is uh, one when you have mental issue, it's all because you lack discipline or willpower. But let me tell you, this is totally wrong. Okay, mental problem is not about self discipline or willpower. Okay. I'll share more with you because, because the fact that your neurons keep losing, right? There's nothing you can do, but you can protect it from losing, which I'll share with you how later on, all right? And so this is what happened when you grow old. Well, we're supposed to grow old while uh, happily having fun, enjoy the final thing in life, but this is actually what happened to 25% to of you guys, you know? You know why I know about this? Why I know this so well? It's because my grandmother, okay? My grandmother is 80 plus years old right now, and she has dementia. She has dementia, right? And right now, she can't even remember who am I. She can't even see well at all. Now, when we go there, she will ask, who are you? You know how sad it is, you know, to be, to, to see your grandmother, see your loved one, not knowing who you are. And she's the one who took care, took care of me when I was young. She cooked for me, you know, she take care of me, she bathed me when I was young. You understand? So now, when I grow up, I can't even do anything. 
I can't even make her feel better because she don't even she don't even knows what happening what's happening every single day. All right, so 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 I hope that this does not happen to you or your family. All right. So now what you need to do right now is that to stop having mental problem, you need to start focusing and train your brain right now. Not today, not tomorrow, not next, not next year. It is now because every day you will lose your neurons bit by bit, bit by bit. All right. So now you guys, you understand what I talk about. All okay? right. So now what I want to share with you is about the brain, right? Let's talk about the brain. Now the brain is broken out into left and right hemisphere, left hemisphere is where the logic is right the logic is this is the part where we talk about logic uh what i'm supposed to do where i'm supposed to go what am i supposed to eat and all that okay so the other part the other part right hem hemisphere is all about creativity about emotions all right uh, it's about feeling okay all right so now now that you know the left and right part let me share with you this thing look at this right now there is actually a problem in this picture can you tell me what is the problem in this picture? The left and right brain. Can you key in right now and tell me what is the problem in this picture? All right, guys. Can you key in right now? Tell me. Look at this picture right now and tell me, seriously, what you think is wrong? What do you think is wrong? Can anyone? Anyone know? All right, the, the right is, one side is bigger than the other, correct. So you can see some say, correct, the right side is smaller. That's right. The right brain is actually smaller than the left brain. Do you know, guys, okay, let me tell you one thing. Majority of you, I would say 90% of you here right now looking at this presentation, I can tell you your left brain are all bigger than your right brain. Okay, your left brain are all bigger than your right brain. Uh, you know why? Because you use your left brain more than your right brain. When we are young, our left and right brain are more synchronized. They are more uh, balanced. All right. When that's why kids they learn things really fast. Do you notice kids they see you one time what you do, they can copy what you do immediately, just like my son. If I just open up my computer, I type whatever I type, he can immediately remember where I go, what I do, and can he can follow exactly, you know? And that's why their left and right brain, the reason why is because their left and right brain are synchronized, right? Whereas you grow older, your left brain become bigger. You know why? Because you start to use more logic. You don't use emotions anymore. Yeah, you don't use creative anymore. You know, you don't do arts anymore. You use more logic. And problem solving all that is all logic so that's why your left muscle keep growing keep going keep growing your right muscle doesn't grow you know those kids when they play uh pretend pretend play you know uh, uh cooking class uh pretending like you know imagination uh imagining the you know, where they want to go uh, these are all right brain so that's why the left and right brain can synchronize really well now let's do a uh, uh exercise okay together right so that we can see whether you know more about your left and right brain, which is stronger. So what I want you to do right now is I want you to tell me the color, the color that you see right now. Just tell me the color. Okay. So right now you see what color is this? Blue color, right? Okay. So what color is this? Red color. Okay. What color is this? Okay. What color is this? Just tell, talk, just say it out. Okay. Just say it out. Okay. What color is this? What color is this? Just say out the color. Read the, tell the color, don't read the words, okay? Ah, so, so what, what's happening right now? Are you guys struggling to tell me the color? Okay, I can tell you, majority of you here will have problem telling me the colors that you see over here, all right? Now, why? You can tell me the words easily, but you will have problem telling me the colors. Right? Why? Because colors belong to the right brain. What belongs to the right brain? The left brain will belongs. The words belongs to the left brain. So that's why when your left brain is bigger, is stronger, you can read the words easily. But your right brain is weaker. You cannot tell the color easily. Right? This is a very good example. Okay, of how your left brain is actually stronger than your right brain, and why training your brain is very important. Now let me tell you. When your left and right brain is not synchronized well, you will have a weaker brain. 
uh, and you cannot function so well as well as you can you also think slower and you slow in everything you do lah okay it's the same as going to exercise imagine your left arm is stronger than your right arm when you go and do sit up a push up you will be saying yeah you will you, move one side yeah and when you do branch press what happened what happened you will yeah you, you'll be unbalanced as well the same goes to your leg if you're one leg stronger than the other leg you know, then when you exercise, you can't balance. You can't balance that well. All right. So that's why when it comes to the brain, both your brain, left and right, have to synchronize, have to be balanced so that you can have optimum performance. All right. So now my interest in neuro, neuron actually accelerated seven years ago. All right. And why? Because of this boy. Okay, that's where my son was born. All right. So now the first two years was actually fantastic. Okay, my son was fantastic. Right? He's a good boy. He didn't cry. You know, he played by himself. Uh, he was very easy to take care. Right? And a lot of people say, hey, wow, terrible too, man. You know, when the kid was two years old, it's so difficult to take care of them. But you know what? I think there's really nothing wrong with my boy. You know, he's so good, you know. And I, 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 I don't even know what is terrible too. Right? So after that, when he was three years old, that's where I start to feel, hey, how come he's a little bit different? Even until three, he's still he's struggling to speak properly. And when we talk to him, he actually don't respond. And when we try to take photo, he always don't look at the camera. He's always looking at somewhere else. He's always avoiding eye contact. That's where I realized that, hey, he's actually very different. Yeah, it's something wrong or not. Then after that, I put him in enrichment school, you know, um, um, Chinese class, English, math, and all that. And you know what? He was rejected four out of five school. And you know what? It was pretty weird. I cannot imagine every time when I sent him to school, the first class, after that, the teacher will come and tell me, when I go and picking up, the teacher will tell me, sorry, um, we cannot accept the children. Uh, let him come back later. Every time I ask him why, why? None of them tell me why. They just say, uh, let him come back when he grow up. right? So he was actually quite disappointed. You know, I was thinking, what is actually wrong? The only time when he's accepted to a school is where we go for one-to-one -one tuition, one-to-one. Then the teacher will accept him. If he go to a group, he doesn't. And there's even one time when I sent him to this Newton school, all right, and halfway through, the teacher called me. He said, you have to come and pick out your boys. He's hitting everyone. He's fighting with everyone. And he's, you know what? That was when I was so frustrated. I was like, actually, what is going on? I don't know. So what I did was that I go and send him for counseling. Then we realized that consultation. Then we realized that he was diagnosed with AD, uh, autistic. Okay? He was diagnosed with autistic. So... After a while, when I go and study more, I realized that right now, actually one in six children have neurons issue. They have either ADHD, autistic, or any of the other issues that you see here right now, all right? And I can tell you, it's going to get more and more. This will happen more and more often in children. And all these issues, like ADHD, ADD, uh, autism, and all that, they are all neurons issues, you know? And why? You know? Look at it, uh, last time, uh, last time uh, 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 when I was young, uh, you know, or some of you, uh, when I was young, you know, Every time you go out, you always want to go out and play. You don't want to stay home. You just want to go out and play with your friends, play football, go and run around the field. And the parents, your parents always have to drag you home and say, you need to go home already. It's late. Uh, it's time for dinner and all that. You know? But now, kids don't want to go out. They just want to stay home to watch TV, play games, play computer, you know, go social media and all that. You know, like my son, sometimes when I ask him to go out, he said, don't want, don't want. I'll stay at home. You know, it's so different from last time. Okay? And last time we had dinner, you know, we were hanging around together, we were talk to each other. And you know what? Nowadays, sometimes even when I go to a restaurant, I see family eat, they're all on their own phone. They're all on hand phone or either hand phone or iPad or watching cartoon and all that. And I even have a friend who told me that at home when he wants to eat dinner, he still needs to message WhatsApp his son to come down for dinner. You understand? No? So you see, so everyone is stuck with technology right now. And what is wrong with technology? You know what? cell phone cell phone is bad for the blood uh, for your brain and all. no it's not right the, the radiation in the cell phone actually strings your ve blood vessel uh. okay because it string your blood vessel it will increase the damage to your brain uh. you understand no? and not only that does phone lower the iq no? yeah it actually say it significantly reduce people's intelligence and attention span right so because the fact that the apps are created this way like facebook TikTok, Instagram, they are created to let you keep scrolling, keep scrolling, keep, keep, keep scrolling, you know, and that affect your attention span, you understand? Know and, and not only that, the doctors even say, uh, the internet is like addition uh, uh, to heroin, uh, you know, it's modern day heroin, okay, so it's very, uh, very dangerous, all right, so, but we cannot live without technology, but technology is also making your brain lazy, last time, you know, when we travel, uh, what, I have these strict dietary books in my car, 
I'm not sure some of you have it or not. Uh, every time when we want to go a certain distance, a certain places, we will go and uh, open up the book, uh, study the map. Then we have to remember what route to take to reach our destination, right? But now you have Google Map. You don't even need to do anything. You just on the place, on the destination, on it, and that's it. Just follow the instructions. Okay. So that's why technology like this have make us have make our brain lazier. And if you don't depend on technology, we're going to suffer a lot. That's why right now I created this program called Genius Transformation is to stop our human brain from decrying because of technology. Okay. So what I will share with you today right now is to how to transform your brain into a super brain. Okay. So now what is Genius Transformation? Okay. We're using neurotechnology. Okay. So neurotechnology, what we do is that I show you how to activate your health your sensory, your motor skill, your creativity, and your brain power, right? So we're going to do a lot of exercises right now. So guys, what I want you to do is, can you please get your friends, invite your family member to come and sit down with you right now? I want you to look through this. I want to do these two exercises together with me, okay? Okay, so now, let's talk about genius transformation. How can you transform you, your family, or your kids into a genius, all right? So how does it work? First, we start with cognitive play. We have a series of cognitive play, all right? And you add it together with neural sound wave, okay? So we add these two together, we will transform you into a genius, okay? Let me explain to you more. Now, let me talk, let me tell you what is neural sound wave, okay? Now, let's have a look, at, have a listen at this. So this is a music embedded with sound wave, a right? neural sound wave. When I was young, you held me near. Storms would pass and I never feared. Your smile and kisses I hold so dear. Help me to be... Okay, now, guys, after listening to this music, do you know what will happen? Okay, this music actually makes you happy. It's a positive sound wave, positive neural sound wave. So it brings your brain wave to a positive mode and right, to a happy and positive mode. All right. So this is the technology which um, I've been using every single day on me and my family. Okay. Let me talk more on about this right now. Okay. And now when you talk about sound wave, do you know that actually the mini tree have been secretly using sound wave? Right. And it all started, it was first started, it was first appeared in the news during World War II. Okay. So USA want to defeat Germany. And there's this Warcraft. Okay. It's actually called Philadelphia Experiment. Later on, you can go and uh, research on this. All right. So wherever the USA ship, warship goes towards the Germany uh, area, uh, uh, what Germany will do, they'll shoot the torpedo. They will destroy the warship. So USA wanted to find a way to go around this. So they want to make them disappear. They want to make the whole warship disappear. So what they do was they actually put sound wave on the ship and they will blast the sound wave. Okay. So, but nobody really know what happened. Nah, you know, so it was classified. Okay. But it was recently disclassified. If you go and study it, it actually says that the ship, the whole warship actually disappeared. And they say they actually appeared somewhere else. Right. And then reappeared back in the original place again. Okay, so this is the first time when everyone start to know that the military are using sound wave. You can do this research later on yourself. Okay, so the next thing is this now in this park in Philadelphia. Okay, there's this park, and they 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 are always kids, uh, young kids, uh, teenager, and all that. They will go to the park to vandalize the park. Okay, they will vandalize the park, and the park has spent has spent a lot of money uh, repairing and all that. So what they did was they go and put all these small sound wave machine there. And they call it the sonic device. Uh, it's a sound wave machine. Okay. They put it all over the park. They put it all over the park. And what happened is that at night, they were on this sound wave. And this sound wave, the vibe, uh, is, you know, the hype is very high pitch. Okay. But only those young can hear it because as you grow old, your hearing will deteriorate. So those below 20 to 25, uh, they will be able to hear it. So when they are in the park, they'll start to feel that, wow. Why is this place like this place is like so uncomfortable? Right? It's like so noisy, so uncomfortable. So they will leave the park. So because of this, the park become very clean. So every night they're on it so that the kids will not come and destroy the park. Right. So this is also uh, a secret that you know 
the government has been using sound wave right, to help them. All right. And neural sound wave technology is actually very similar to meditation. Right. Is meditation good or not, guys? It's good, right? Yeah, it is very good. Meditation is good, right? And it, there's already been stated there's a lot of advantage, uh, benefits to having meditation, right? And meditation is like controlling your brain wave and to put you in the correct states of mind. So when you meditate, it's so that you can go to the different brain wave frequency that you want to go. And that's what meditation is about, all right? And there's different uh, brain wave in your brain right now, okay? There is, let's talk about it. There's data. Data is where you want to have this sleep. Every day you need to have data. Okay, you need to have data. All right. So, if you doesn't have data, data sleep, that means you are not having good sleep. Okay? And if you don't have good sleep, your body will not heal itself. All right. The second is data. Okay, data is where you have REM sleep. REM sleep means uh, your brain is repairing itself. All right. And uh, you you have dreams. Some of you have dreams. You have quite a number of dreams. In fact, quite a number of dreams every single night. But when you wake up. Major, most of the time you can't remember your dream right? but that's good because that means that your brain is detoxing okay this is almost like in a meditation state so yeah in the alpha state alpha is in a very relaxed state uh, not much stress it's positive thinking if you want to learn things this is what you are supposed to be in in alpha state okay? and beta state is like now it's like you right now it's like me right now you're focused you're attentive right we are in the normal uh, uh, you know daily day life you are doing you're in your beta state and gamma state is a very well excited very excited, right? So now, you know, do you know that when you watch TV, when you, you see your iPad, you are actually in gamma state. Anything, any electronic computer sound you use, you are in gamma states. It makes you very excited. That's why we always say at night, don't watch so much TV, don't watch so much iPad and all that because it put your brain wave in the very high frequency range and you have a hard time sleeping. Can you imagine delta is at one end, gamma is at the other end. How are you supposed to sleep when you're in gamma wave? You understand? All right. Okay. So the problem with most people, you know what, is that, as I said, you know, you're using the wrong brain wave. When you're supposed to sleep, you're supposed to be in delta. But then you're in gamma wave, you're watching your iPad and all that, you couldn't sleep because the radiation, the, the frequency is making you can't sleep. Okay. And we are supposed to study, you're supposed to be in alpha, but you're also like too excited, you're in beta and gamma wave. All right. And muscle, when you're in pain, you're supposed to uh, sleep well and so that your muscle can be relaxed and repaired by itself, your body. Right, but you didn't, you're, in, you're only in data state, you know, you're not in uh, data state, you know, so positive, you know, so most of the time, let me tell you, people are in the wrong wave, doing the wrong thing, doing the thing in the wrong wave. But I can tell you, this is not your problem, because you don't know about it, you see, so that's why sometimes when you try to do something, you feel that it's very difficult to do it, it's very difficult to absorb, like you want to learn, you want to learn stock training, but it's very difficult for you to learn. The strategy, the techniques. Why? Because your wave is in different parts. You're even in different part of the wave. You're not utilizing properly. You're not utilizing your brain properly. That's why you couldn't absorb as much as you can. Okay. So later I will feel more, do more, uh, more case study on this. All right. So now, so remember this, right? So the training of brain wave and treatment is to basically bring you to any stages of the wave that you want. If you want to go to data, you use brain wave to push you to data. If you want to go to alpha, you use brain wave to push you to alpha. If you want to go to data, you use brain wave to go and uh, push you to data. Uh, sound, sound wave, new sound wave, sound wave to push you to data. Okay. So now, it's like imagine being able to meditate like a Zen master, Zen expert at the touch of the button. Okay. Listening to neural sound wave, it is the same like meditation. You can go to any wave that you want easily. All right. So now, what, what, the main reason why you want to know why controlling your brain wave uh, is very important. Because this study says that, you know what, this research, uh, this article says that if you want to increase your IQ by 23%, just go and meditate. That's all. Just go and meditate. You can automatically increase your IQ. Why? You know, it, here's an article that says that, you know what, uh, if you meditate, you can significantly make you smarter. Why? Because you are able to reduce your stress, improve your mood, okay, and set it up you for emotional uh, reaction. Okay, so so right now, if you meditate, right, the key thing is that when your stress is removed, you can perform much better. All right, and a lot of people always say, hey, you know, monk, right? Monk or those Zen master, right? They are not intelligent, you know, they are not intelligent. But why is it that some of them have so much wisdom? You know why? Because they meditate every day. Right? And people even ask that, huh? how come Zen master, Buddhist mind and all that, they're able, they are, Zen is supposed to be doing nothing. And yet doing nothing, they can have wisdom. Okay, So the so people actually answer, it says that meditation, 
meditation is the key right, to achieving higher intelligence. Uh, why? Because when your stress is removed, you can see a lot more benefit in your life. Okay. So now I also did a lot of study on this. You know, so that let me ask you, is meditation important for investor or trader or not? Let me ask you, do you think it's important or not? How many of you here are actually meditating? Right? Now let me tell you, this 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 uh this article says that you no know, meditation can actually help you become a better stock investor. Now, why? Why do you think meditation is important if you want to be an investor? Because it can help you to keep calm. Yes, sir. Investing, I can tell you, majority are moved by emotions. Son. Should I sell? Should I buy? Or the worst is buying, I think it's easier. Lah. After you buy, ay, the price go down. Ay, should I sell or not? If I sell, will it go up? Or the price go up? Oh, should I sell or not? Will it go up even higher? Or you know what? These are all emotions. These are all emotions. Yeah. So that's why in order for you to control this, meditate. Meditate is the key. All right. So now, so you have three options to be smarter, to be a smarter trader, you know, to be a smarter investor. Three options. Okay. To be a monk, learn to meditate or listen to neural sound wave. Let me know. Yes, it's really that simple. This three. Let me know which one you think is easier. Monk, learn to meditate or listen to neural sound wave. Can you key in the comment right now and let me know. Hey guys, let me know which one you think is the most suitable option for you. Be a monk, learn to meditate or listen to neural sound wave. Okay. All right. Yeah, we see meditating, meditating, meditation is good, good. Edison, good. Yeah. So you meditate two times a day, right? So that's good. That is really good, right? So that's what I do. I listen to the sound wave. Even my son listened to the neural sound wave two times a day, all right? So you can see some of you, a lot of you say neural sound wave is the easiest. Yes, it is the easiest. You know, of course, I don't think everyone wants to be a monk, but meditation, you know, meditation sometimes is really tough. But I, I try to go meditation, but sometimes I just couldn't get it. But if the easiest way is listening to the neural sound wave. So I just listen and that's it. And usually it takes me more, not more than 30 minutes. Or it takes my son not more than 30 minutes. And here's the thing, right? not just for adults, okay? For kids, which one is easier for kids? How can kids learn to meditate? I tell you, it's really tough. Getting my son to just sit there for 10 minutes it is already a killer. How can we teach him to meditate? Okay? If your son can meditate, okay, your children can meditate, I tell you, very good for you. But that's why we use neural sound wave on the children. So that they can get the benefit as well okay so now let's talk about this genius transformation all right so now for adults all right what we do is we help you to rewire your mind revive your life okay do like a renew you a reborn you so for kids it's actually creating the next generation of prodigy all right so now we can talk about this uh this uh neural technology that we are doing right now genius transformation the objective is right now is very simple to activate your brain power to activate creativity to activate motor skills and to activate your health right and to activate your sensory perception so today right now i'm talking about this five of them and we're going to do exercises together okay so i want you to do this together with me okay so now number one let's talk about activity brain power okay let's talk about focus i can tell you right now focus is the biggest issue with a lot of people especially with the, with the with the rising of the internet a lot of people even adults kids they have focus issues all right so now let me ask you are you facing this problem or not for you and your kids cannot concentrate it gets distracted easily keeps visiting you know cannot sit in one place at all are you guys having this problem all right so now let me share with you uh let's do a test let's do a test and see whether uh how much of you have this problem all right so now what i want you to do right now is i want you to look at this picture Look at this lady, all right? Look at the nose. There's actually three dots on the nose, three colored dots on the nose, okay? Look at it for 10 seconds right now. Okay, after I count out for 10 seconds, okay, I'll tell you what, what, what to do next, okay? Look at the nose, right? Look at it right now, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, look at the cross on the right-hand side. What tell me what do you see? Look at the cross on the right hand side and then tell me what do you see. Can you please type it in? Type in the comment and let me know what do you see. If you cannot see anything, you just type no. If you can see, tell me what do you see? Okay? At the cross, at the on the right hand side on the small cross there, what do you see? Yep. Evelyn, you saw the lady, 
Is the lady in color or is it in black and white? Is the lady in color or is it black and white? Guys. Yeah, the woman but different color, okay? So it is actually real color, real life color of the lady. Okay, that means real life situation of the ladies, okay? All right, very good. Right? Is there anyone who didn't see anything? Is there anyone who didn't see anything? You just key in no, so that I know. Okay, very good, very good. Uh, okay, some of you didn't see it. All right, Yong, uh, Tian Yong didn't see it, all right? So majority of them see the lady. Okay, very good, very good. So now let me explain to you what is happening, right? So when you look at this picture, okay, when you look at this picture, all right, your brain is actually absorbing the information. Okay, when you look at this picture, your brain is actually absorbing the information. All right. So now, but if your focus and concentration is not there, this information that you see will not be absorbed into your brain at all, or it won't absorb so well. So when you suddenly stop looking at the picture after 10 seconds, you look at the brain screen, your the brain will keep processing the image. So the image will start come out again. You go back, you'll start come out again. You go back, you'll come out again. All right. So if you can see the picture, that means good. You you will focus and concentrate. You have some focus and concentration. If you can see the picture very well, very pretty, full of colors, that means your focus and concentration is good. But if you don't see anything, that means you have focus and concentration issues. All right. So let's do another exercise. Let's do another exercise. Some of you say uh, it's blue and white. Some say shadow, and some say very blurry images. So you know what? That means that you have some focus and concentration issue. Now, let's do another exercise, okay? So what I want you to do right now is I want you to look at the center. Same thing, the cross at the center, all right? Then I'll do, I'll count out for 10 seconds. After count out for 10 seconds, I'll show you another slide. Then you tell me, do you see anything? What do you see down there, okay? Look at the cross, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, three two one look at this do you guys see colors or is it black and white all right tell me do you see colors or is it black and white let me know in the comment section okay if you see black and white tell me black and white if you see colors you tell me colors and i can tell you do you notice the colors are not the same colors as what you see Okay, the colors you see over here are actually what your brain interpret. All right, it's actually the opposite colors. All right, so some of you see uh, pink, some see full of colors, some or some see black and white only. Okay, some see colors. Well, it's pretty interesting, right? You know, showing you one chart. Every of you are looking at the same chart, and yet some people see differently from everyone else. Yeah. So, so this is pretty amazing. Uh, color then turn into black and white. That's right. That's right. Okay. Color then turn into black and white. Can okay, I explain to you how this thing works? Okay. So now this is basically this is how we train our focus and concentration. Okay. Our focus and concentration. We do this with our kids. I do this myself. I do this with my kids, uh, with my family every single day. All right. So what's happening is that you know what? Uh, when you look at the picture, okay, when you look at the color picture, when we look at the color picture, all right, these images were same thing, will be stored in your brain. It will go into your brain. Right, as you keep focusing and concentrate on it, you will keep re uh, repeating the process. Then, after that, when you took it away, when you took it away, the color was supposed to reappear again. Right, sometimes it will reappear, then you'll disappear. You reappear, you'll disappear. You reappear, you disappear until it becomes black and white. Now, this is how it works, right? So now, when you have very good concentration and focus, what will happen is that the color that you see are actually very bright, very bright. When you, okay, now let's talk about, okay, now let's talk about when you don't see anything, okay? So when you don't see any, you only see, you only see black and white, that means that you have focus and concentration power problem, right? So that every time when you read, sometimes I can tell you, you don't understand what you're reading because you are reading, but you're not reading. That means that your brain are not absorbing the power, the information that you are reading right now. Okay. So what you're supposed to do is you do this exercise, do this exercise. Okay. Every day do this exercise. So after that, you realize that when you do this exercise, you realize that you will start to see some colors. You start to see some colors coming out. Then after that, as days goes by, uh, you start to see hey, the color become brighter. All right. So as weeks goes by, you realize that hey, oh, the colors become brighter and brighter and brighter. Okay, after that, you become so bright. 
Yeah. Then after that, as you start to practice in a couple of one, two months, you realize that the colors stay longer. Then you continue to practice, you realize the color become brighter and it stay very long. Okay, so that is the power of focus and concentration, right? That means that whatever you see, immediately this thing that you see is captured in your brain and you can store in your brain for as long as you can, right? That is the power of focus and concentration. Now, now, guys, kids always have problems with this, right? They cannot focus. They will always run around. Like, have you ever scold your kids? Or, hey, why you don't focus? Why you don't sit down? Why can't you sit down properly and study properly, right? But you know what? No? The kids will kind of tell you, uh, if they can, uh, They'll tell you, Ma, uh, father, mother, what is focus and concentration? How are you going to reply? Is it just by sitting there? Yeah, nobody ever teach them about focus and concentration. School also don't teach them. You understand? No? So that's why if you use this, they are able to do and focus on their work easier. You understand? Okay? That's how my son is able to get so good sub, uh, result because of this training that I put him in. All right? So now, so... So now, so focus is able to do things correctly in the shortest possible time, you know, and it actually increases your product because of this increases your productivity and people who are productive, I tell you, always win. All right. And we focus, you have clarity and clarity always leads to better decision. So you're able to make better decision because you're clarity. And the key thing is this, uh, able to finish what you want to start. Uh. You know, most adults uh, always face this problem. How many times have you told yourself, oh, I want to go to a gym session. I want to try and exercise. And then after a few sessions, what, what happened? You stop. Right or not? And how many times have you tried to do something, you know, set up a business and all that online business? After you set up halfway, you stop. You understand? So when you have focus and concentration, you're able to finish what you start. And this will give you a uh, better career in your life or a uh, better success in your life in the things that you do. All right. Now let's talk about memory. Now let's talk, we have finished our focus and concentration. Let's talk about memory. Okay. And I believe that quite a number of people have poor memory. Like, I'm not sure you guys, anyone here have poor memory? If you have, can you can key and tell me, uh, me, 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 me. <laughs> let me know that you have very poor memory. Okay. Now, memory right now is a, is a very big issue with a lot of people. Okay. Let me know uh, how many of you have poor memory. So I can show you, I can teach you right now how to be, how to have better memory. Okay, all right, so some of you, I can see some of you say that you have a uh, very poor memory, okay, Cindy, Nico, all right. So this is uh, Lai Wai, Lam Wai, okay, this is pretty normal. It is pretty normal. I can tell you a lot of people have memory issues right now. Why? Because of social media. Right? Social media is blocking our memory from growing, uh, you know, because it is distracting us and not letting us remember things easily. Uh, yeah? Okay, so now, how do we train memory? Now, now, now. Yeah, my uh, Hazel, yeah, your memory sucks, I understand, All right? So now, how do you train memory? If you go to Google, uh, you say that you want to memorize good, uh, remember good, what, you have to exercise to clear your head, write down what needs to be memorized, do yoga, you know, practice, study or practice in the afternoon. You know what? How can you have better memory by doing all these things? You know, this is totally nonsense, okay? Let me show you, and, and I can tell you a lot of times uh, when you go for memory training, you know how they teach you to learn memory training? Is that they will ask you to also associate certain thing with certain certain objects with stories, right? Like, uh, like if you like if you want to remember uh Japan or go Japan do something, you have to go and memorize a story and link the object to where you want to go to what you want to do. And the more exaggerate the story, the better you remember it. You know what? I went through trainings like this before, but you know what? The hardest part is every time when I do something, I must go and create stories. Every time when I remember something, I must create stories. I thought that's really tough. So I can tell you 99% of people who went through memory training do not practice it after they finish the training, I can tell you. So, but that's why we came out with a very easy way, a much easier way to teach you how to have better memory. Okay, so now what, and I want to show you right now, the next slide, I want every one of you to participate with me. As I said, you know what, the things I share with you is going to be, is very interesting, right? So that's why I tell you, get your family member, can share, can do this training together so that they know how to have better memory, how to be smarter, how to have better focus. Bring it in, bring it in, can do this training together. Get your friends, can listen, right? This is beneficial to every single one of you, right? Okay, so now, how do you have better memory? So now what we do is we directly attack the brain to create better memory. We don't use skills. You don't use theories to improve your memory. So what I want you to do right now is very simple. I want you to look at the next chart, okay? I want to look at this chart right now. Same thing, okay? I want you to focus at the center, the cross at the center. 
No, and then I'll count down for 10 seconds. After I finish counting down for 10 seconds, I want you to close your eyes. Okay, I want you to close your eyes. And I want you to focus. Close your eyes for the next 10 seconds. And I want you to tell me what do you see. Okay, ready? Look at the center. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one. Okay, close your eyes for 10, 10, 10 seconds. Nine. Eight. Focus. Seven. Six. Five. Focus. Four. Three. Two. One. Okay, open your eyes. Now, guys, what do you see? What do you see? Let me, let me know. What do you see? Do you see anything? If you see something, tell me what you see. If you don't see anything, just say no. Can you tell me what you see? Okay, Lisa say that you saw the cross. Okay, good, good. Is the things that you see in full colors or is it black and white? You know, just tell me what you see, guys. Tell me what you see. Okay, you see a cross, a red cross, a yellow and blue petlets. Okay, a wheel like that. Okay, red flower fading. All right, yellow ball roll. <laughs> okay, good. Did anyone don't see anything? I think definitely there'll be people who don't see anything. All right, outline of the wheel. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, so you see pink, blue, and yellow. That's right, that's right. Okay, all right, good. Very similar. Okay, Cassandra. Okay, so now you see. What happened is that when you look at this image, it's the same as your focus training, all right? This memory training is, when you look at this image, this image that you see here will actually be processed by your brain. You'll be processed by brain. You will keep processing. Then after that, when you close your eyes, you are actually tell you, telling your brain to shut off. So when your brain shut off, your brain will continue to process the image. So everything that you see, the brain will process the image, all right? So the brain will process the image when your eyes is closed, you process, sometimes when you close your eyes, you don't see anything. You don't see anything. But slowly you will see the image start coming out. Then after that, the image will start disappear. Then you come out. Then you disappear. You come out. You disappear. You come out. After that, slowly the whole thing fade away. Okay? So that is how we train our memory. Okay? That's how we train our memory. Okay? We directly use the brain to train your memory processing power. Uh, the short-term memory all right so what you do is that all right so as you start sometimes if you don't have any if you can't see anything you know it's okay because your memory is bad all right so as you start training you start training this every single day you just look at the chart you close your eye you look at the chart close your eye okay five ten minutes is enough five ten minutes of this is enough this exercise is enough okay what you do is that starting you may not see anything if you don't see anything it's okay starting you may not see anything after that when you slowly you after one few days you start to see some shapes some forms in some forms okay after that another one to two weeks go past you start to see colors colors, colors colors start coming in then after that another few more weeks pass you start to see the whole objects right the whole shapes is forming then as another one two months pass you realize that these images become very clear and it stays there for very long that means that you have achieved your target okay you achieve your target usually i'll suggest that you do this for one month okay? after one month okay you will realize that your brain will totally transform you will totally transform. You will have a lot more better memory compared to last time. Okay, so that's how we train uh, a memory. Okay, so now, and not just that, not just using charts, uh, chroma charts to train memory. What we do is, I also use neural sound wave training. So I have this brain simulator. So every day we will listen to the brain simulator. The brain simulator will enhance this amygdala. This amygdala is a long term memory. Okay, so as you listen to this brain, wave, it will simulate the amygdala. So it will help you improve your long-term memory to become better, all right? So when you have very good memory, what happens is that uh, you combat the root of forgetfulness. And this will give you an unfair advantage in school or your career because you're able to remember things easily right now. And you're able to learn things very quickly. Okay, right now, let me tell you, uh, it's not about the biggest company that will win, eh? they win the race, but the fastest to adopt things, they will win. Okay, and when you're able to learn things quickly, you can adopt things very fast. Okay, so it's like a sponge. Okay, it's like a sponge. And do you know sponge uh, is very interesting. Is it an animal or is it a plant? Uh, you know, again, did my research. Actually, sponge is an animal. It's an animal with no brain and no 
organs like it's just body and that's it so it's very interesting okay now so now for do you know that um for untrained brain if your brain is not trained before there's a limit to your speech and capability your memory your focus there's a limit to what you have and you know in sponge huh, there is this chemical they make the sponge absorbent okay in sponge there's this chemical they make it absorbent and doing this chart training that i just show you share with you will release the chemical in your brain to make you absorb things and focus and absorb things just like a sponge okay that's how powerful this training is and uh, i'm not guys do you like to uh um collect books no? i'm a book collector you know uh, that means that i like to buy books in fact every single month uh, i will buy a few books one anyone where i see online anyone will recommend any books i will buy the books one right but the thing is i i only buy the books right so last time you know i i actually like to read books uh, but the problem is that i have very short attention span every time i read a few pages uh, three to four pages uh, you know what i'll start to fall asleep I'm like oh, oh you know somehow i just cannot finish and every time when i read one book it'll take me at least three months at least three months to finish one book and you know what happens uh? so after that when i start doing this chroma training right uh, uh chroma training then after that uh when i start to buy more books then my friends start asking me hey, Jess, recently you have been buying a lot more books can than last time right? then I say yeah yeah because i'm finishing it then you say how come you can finish so fast now then it makes me think that hey oh yeah actually now i can read a lot faster than last time you know when before i do the training i can only read three to four pages after i finish the training after a month of training you know what i can read 30 to 40 pages at one go then all i need to do is just take a couple of minute rest then i can continue reading and not just that i can remember what i read you know what and that is very interesting and that's why it allowed me to absorb things faster than a lot of my friends you know books are really good material you know for you to gain more information you know and not only that you know what even warren buffett say you know what reading will make you a better investor right if you want to be a better investor read more and warren buffett is an advocate of reading you know he reads all the time right and so those those of you who have problem with reading you know what our reading are slow you know what do this chroma chart do this chroma training it will definitely help you improve you a lot more and you realize that your knowledge will go up even much faster okay okay so that's uh, number one which is to activate your brain power so number two is to activate your creativity now is guys is this interesting now if this is interesting now can you please keep yes yes uh yeah can you please keep yes 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 okay then i'll continue uh, Melissa, ebooks is the same as uh, hard copy book, uh, no different, uh, you know, whether reading ebook or hard copy is reading, uh, uh, the problem is my, the thing is that I have problem in reading, yeah. Uh, but once I'm able to better, have better focus and concentration, I can read even better, all right? Okay, so now, okay, now, next thing is this now, let's talk about uh, creativity, or let's talk about creativity. Uh, thank you, thank you, Alvin, uh, you all like, oh, I can see that you guys like this training, uh, okay? So that's why I tell you, this training is very different from the rest of the other training, okay? Uh, uh, we go straight to the point right we go straight to the point we teach you and and improve you on uh, straight to the point okay thank you guys thank you guys i can see that so many of you like it thank you okay so now let's talk about creativity okay creativity now let me ask you this question now uh, is creativity important in life right? a lot of people think that creativity is not important in life you know because they say i don't i'm not in the creative job i don't need i don't do arts i don't do design i don't do music or why do i need to be creative but let me tell you creativity is not about all this it's about what uh? it's about what to wear you know what to wear you need to think you need to have be do they activate your creativity part to be able to dress well now, if you don't dress well if you don't have creativity you will not dress well so ladies and guys out there you know if you dress well that means you have creativity creativity you need to use creativity to dress well and you know what knowing where to eat and what to eat you need creativity to think now, you know you always get stuck if you always think that oh, yeah i don't know what to eat i don't know where to eat ah then you have creativity problems right and where to go and this all require you you use your creativity every single day okay so now let's do some training on creativity i want to, to expand your scope expand your perception of things and right, so that you can expand your creativity so right now very simple i want you to look at this picture right now you see three cars uh the bottom the middle and the top i want to ask you which car do you think is taller which car you think is taller right can you key in the left uh, key in the comment right now the bottom the middle or the top let me know which car you think is taller the bottom the middle or the top 
Ah, CKI, we did asking whether is that online training, you love to sign up, <laughs> guys. Okay, now, actually, I have a training later on, which I'll share with you guys, okay? All right, and this training is really, really useful for every one of you, okay? All right, so, uh, okay, let me know, which one, is it the middle, the top, or some say the top, some say the middle, some say the same size, okay, the top, the same, okay? Okay, good, 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 come, let's participate, all right? Uh, okay, good. Okay, so now, okay, fantastic, okay, so now, let's have a look at this let's see which car is taller the bottom one the middle one or the top all right if i go and measure it it's actually uh 5.5 cm okay if i measure this it's actually 5.5 cm if i measure this it's actually 5.5 cm you know why why does it, why is it that the top looks bigger it's because of perception because of perception your eyes automatically adjust to make the top look bigger but it's actually the same but it's actually the same all right so now okay very good very good most uh, quite a number of you got it okay now so next thing is this now look at this left and right the orange line okay which one is longer the left line the left orange line on the right so if you left you just key in left if right you just key in right let me know which line is longer Yes, this training, Grace, uh, this training are uh, very suitable for kids as well. So that's why I say, bring your kids, come and listen. Okay, they will, let's have fun together. Right? Let them come and guess, let them come train your brain. Okay, so this training is perfect for you, for your family, for your grandfather, grandmother, your parents, your father, uh, father, mother, and the children, uh, the children and the grandchildren and all that. Okay, any ones that want to have better brain, please take part in this training. Okay, so now, so left, they're the same. Okay, some say same, some say right okay so uh same or now a lot of people say it's the same huh? okay so here's the thing anyone that says it's the same you know what you all say that oh because you have tricked me once before and it's impossible that you that i'll fall for your trick again so it has to be the same okay so some those that say right you are actually very honest people so you know that or it's right and you know go your gut feel you feel that the right side is actually longer so you tell me your the right side is longer and you are actually honest about it okay so all right, so the people will say, ah, same because I cannot treat you again, right? So let's have a look at it. Let me take away the background. Let's take away the background and let's put in the line. Now, can you see which line is actually longer? The left side, the left line is actually longer. You know, why? You know, look at this right now. Now, it's because of perception again. Okay, because of perception again. Because the left side, okay, you can see is one is to three. If you look at the right side, it's three is to three. So that's why automatically your eyes will adjust and tell you the right hand side is actually longer than the left hand side. Okay, but these are all perception training. So it's actually increased for you to look at things differently on a different perspective, on a different angle. All right. All right. So now, next thing is this. Now, this is very interesting. Now, look at this right now. Tell me which is darker, the one on top or the one at the bottom? Which is actually darker? Which color is darker? the one on top or the one at the bottom tell me right now please key in the comment which one is darker all right so which one is darker the one on top or the one at the bottom okay guys which one <laughs> uh, some of you guys say you use Lula to measure, all right? Okay, so now, uh, Evelyn say it's top, Eunice say same, uh, Karen say it's top, Cho Leng say it's top, so majority of you say it's the top, right? The top is darker than the bottom, right? You know what? Uh, you're right, because of something, okay? But before that, let me share with you the actual, actually, which is darker, the top or the bottom? Let me put something to block out the center. Okay, let me put a... Okay, now let me ask you this. Do they look the same right now? Do the top and bottom look the same right now? Yeah, actually they are the same color. They are the same color. But why is it that you will think that the top and bottom is different? So very simple. Let me go back to the picture. If you, if you can, you can actually put your finger, put your finger at the picture, put at the center, then you realize that they're actually the same color. But if you remove the picture, I remove your finger, then you realize that actually the top is darker than the bottom. You know why? Because we do black shading on the top and the bottom, we put white shading. Because of this shading, 
it readjusts your eyes to look at things differently based on the shading. So that's why a lot of people always say, well, oh, seeing is believing. You know what? Now that I show you so many examples, do you still believe in the things that you see or not? It is so easy to influence a person, you know, right now with all this magical stuff, you know. <laughs> all right. So this is not magical stuff. It's basically, it's basically tricking your eyes, influencing your brain. Okay, to see things differently on a different perspective. Okay, that's why training like this is very important to improve your creativity. And this is just an example. Okay, we'll do a lot more training okay, to show you how to improve your creativity itself. All right. So now, um, okay, so not only that, we also use sound wave, neural sound wave to improve your creativity. All right. So when you listen to this neural sound wave, it will actually train the right side of your brain. Okay, train the right side of the brain, the whole brain to make it to improve the creativity of your brain, all right? So now, what happened is that uh, when you activate your creativity part, is that new, you will be able to solve problems. You know, you know new problems require new solutions. Uh, like now, COVID-19. COVID-19 is a new problem which you have never faced before. So in order for you to solve this issue, you need creativity to solve this issue, all right? And it improve your problem-solving ability. Uh, last time, when you have a problem, you can only come up with one, two solutions. But when your creativity improves, you can come up with what four or five different solution to a problems all right and this is definitely um, very good for uh, to help you improve your life all right and not only that you're able to think out of the box okay and you're able to outsmart your competitors your college colleague or your classmate all right and it's able to create more opportunity for you you know what because of creativity if you look talk to anyone who know me they all tell you that ajs is a very creative person he's able to come up with a lot of different marketing anger different marketing campaign and all that and you know what i always beat all my competitors it's very difficult to beat me once it's because of this creativity that i've developed over the years and it's all thanks to this training and this neuro sound wave training itself as well and because of that uh, uh because of that that you know it gave me so much business you know i'm able to buy my favorite sports car you know i'm not sure whether have you guys seen a mccarran before okay but uh it is a very very fantastic car okay this is a it costs about one million dollar in singapore all right. So anyway, uh, beside, I mean, I'm not just showing you to 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 to, to be proud. I just show you that this is what you can achieve as well. Lah. Okay. So creativity is very important in your business or in your life in a career. It's not just for music or art, you know. Okay. So let's talk about creativity for investor. Do you need creativity for investing? Do you know that reading your candle stick lah, you know your chart and all that is all about problem solving? Yeah. Yeah. So because you need to know, hey, what's going to happen next? Uh, should you exit? Should you enter? What should you do next? All this, you need creativity because it's problem solving. You understand? No? So that's why if you want to be a very good investor, you want to do candlestick or whatever stock chart, read the stock chart, you need creativity. And this training plus the sound wave will help you to improve your creativity. Okay? So now, number three. Okay, let's talk about motor skill. All right? Do you guys do sports? Your sports is very important in life. Right? And now, and motor skill is not just about sports, okay? Sports train part of the brain, okay? If you don't do sports, we will teach you how to use finger, your hand, to train your motor skill as well. Okay, let's talk about that, all right? So now, is motor skills important in life now? Right, let me tell you, it's very important because when you learn a new skill, you need motor skill, all right? And if you get frustrated easily, it's because your lack of motor skill. If you're low self-confidence, it's because your lack of motor skill. If you feel that your growth in life is slow, because your lack of motor skill, all right? So now, let's do a very simple exercise together, okay? And let's do a very simple hand exercise together. This is to train your motor skill, all right? So what I want you to do right now is that your left hand, your left hand, let's do this together, guys, okay? Let's do this together, okay? So what I want you to do right now is your left hand, you show me one. Your left hand, you show me one, okay? All right? So now, your right hand, you point a gun. You point a gun at the one. Okay, let's do this. Okay, like this. Ah, uh. don't like that. Uh. don't do this. Ah, uh. it's like this. Okay, this and this. Okay, so what I want you to do is I want you to switch. Come, let's do this together. Switch one gun, switch. Okay, ready? Switch. All right, let's do it again. Switch. Okay, switch. Okay, so what I want you to do, switch is let's do two. Ready? Switch. Two, two, two. The key thing is not to think about it. It's just to continue to do. Use your feeling. Okay, number three, do a three, three. 
Okay, three, 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 three. Okay, let's do four, 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 four. Let's do it together, four. Let's do five, 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 five. Are you struggling with this five? Okay, so now let's do one, two, three, four, five. Okay, ready? One, two, three, four, five. Five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, very good. All right, so now this training itself. Okay, this training itself, okay, is to train your motor skill. Okay, now what I suggest is that you do this every day. Do this every day. Okay, we have videos to tell you what kind of exercises to do. Do this every day if you can. Okay, what you do is that it actually increases uh, your brain power. You actually wake up your brain. So every morning when you wake up or when your kids wake up, you know, you send your kids to school or your school, or you go take bus or train and all that. Tell your kids or you do this exercise. There's a couple of exercises you can do. Right in public, all right. So you do exercise. It's about 10, 15 minutes. Will do like you know when your journey to the school or journey to work. Just keep do. So when you reach school, you will feel very fresh and alert and ready to tackle the day. Especially we have meeting, right? Especially we have meeting. Right? Do the exercise. So when you reach the meeting, you feel very alert. You feel like oh so tired in the morning, eight o'clock, seven o'clock. You understand? No? So same thing goes to your kids. You know kids they need to. Need some time to wake up. So even some kids, even when they reach school, ah, uh, they're still like, oh, they're still like dazing around, don't understand what the teacher is teaching. You know, tell them do this exercise, do this simple exercise. So the moment when they reach school, ah, so they can start the training, so they can absorb the information much faster. All right, and this training itself is also to increase your brain capacity. You know, now if your brain capacity is one gigabyte, you can the more the more you do, it can increase to one hundred gigabyte. Okay, so if you want to increase your brain, uh, your your brain capacity do this exercise all right okay and not only that you know what this is invented by a japanese guy right? you know and this cute uh kiru kiru ki, kurita masahiro okay he even called this the medical qi gong a uh, uh, medical qi gong uh, and can even increase your speed reading uh, this finger exercise all right okay so now and not only that we also use our neural sound wave to train your motor skill it's not just hand exercises but also using sound wave to pump in to train your motor skill what we do is that we activate your midbrain and your cerebellum okay your midbrain and your cerebellum okay that's where we train your motor skill so now what is motor skill for all right it is to make kids able to control objects in the environment so that, you know kids some kids uh, can dress themselves they can eat themselves on their own they can wear their shoes they can shower and all that right but some kids takes a longer time to do this some kids are faster the reason why they take a longer time is because they have very poor motor skill Right. The bad, the more motor skill you have, the easier uh, you're able to dress yourself and do do uh, I mean, uh, to be on your own uh, independently. Okay, and yours because of the fact that you can do it and be independent, your self esteem will grow, and this will keep will give you uh, confidence, right? And it able you to learn new skill very fast. Okay, and subconscious mind. Oh, this is very important. Okay, it actually trains your subconscious mind like a second talent. Uh, you know, the second talent like you're born with it. Have you seen any person or any friends? That's like they're very talented on it. You know, it's like the moment they start driving a car, what well, they can drive the car really well. The moment they play sport, they play football, what well, they can kick the football very well. The moment they play piano, what well, they can play very well, even though they don't really learn, learn the learn the technique or the skill at all. You know, and good motor skill creates second nature like this. Okay, second nature like this. Let me tell you an example of my friends. Okay, this friend, uh, uh he, this kid is called Mikhail. You know, this kid, uh, I can tell you what. Uh, he have never learned piano before. He have never go for any classes before. But the moment when he sit down, he can see the score. He understand the score, and he can start playing there. In a couple of weeks or couple of months, ah, this is how his playing is like. Now listen to this. Can you believe this kid only learned piano for a few months? You know, I put my son to learn piano. In a few months, he's still down there. Da, 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 da. But this kid, Mikhail, can play like this in after a few months of learning. Eh. This is what we call second nature. Second nature skill. Eh. You understand? No? And you know what? His parents go and put him in, in competition. And in five competition, okay, last year, last year only, in five competition, in fact, late last year, five competition he got one bronze one silver 
and three go. I tell you, this is what talent is about. All right, it's what your second nature talent is about. Okay, so that's why when you improve your motor skill, you may have a chance to do something like that. Your kids may have a chance to do something like that. All right, okay. So the next thing I'll share with you is now. Let me ask you. These are some of the investors in a group that I'm in. Okay, and you know what? They will put the like the top investor and all that. And you see some of them is very amazing, and you can do seventy six percent, sixty one percent a year, fifty nine percent, thirty two percent. You know what? Why forty nine percent? Let me ask you. Are all these people talented? Or are they hardworking? Yeah. To me, I feel that to get such high return, I think you need some talent, right? You know, it's not just about hardworking, right? And some of them are pretty young, you know. Uh, so that you know what, right? If you want to be a genius investor like them, you know what? You need to work on your motor skill. The motor skill is very important to create the next talent that you have, right? So now let's bicycle. So every time, because of how South Korea the electricity is very unstable. So every time if there is no electricity, they will cycle on the electricity. Yeah, on the bicycle to generate electricity. So they're actually generating electricity to watch the show. Okay. So here's the thing, you know, when you do motor skill, it's like exercising. Every time when you do motor skill, more motor exercise, it will charge your brain. Okay? The more you do, the more your brain will get charged. And the more your brain gets charged, the more talented you have become. You understand? No? So that's why a lot of people always underestimate the power of motor skill. That's why exercises is very important, uh, especially for young kids, uh, you know, to bring out the talent in them. Okay, okay. So now the next thing, the fourth one, we to share with you is this thing called activate your health. Now, health is very important. I can tell you, a lot of people know it's important, but I can tell you, a lot of people never really pay much attention to it, lah. You know. Okay. So now, next thing is now let me ask you: Is sleep important? Or is sleep very important in life? Oh, I see some of you say that. Oh, this is a very good drama. Huh? Love. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So, uh, so anyway, is sleep important in life or not? Yes, it is. Let me ask you: How many of you here have sleeping problem? You cannot sleep well. You have problem falling asleep. You struggle to wake up. You feel tired even when you uh, wake up. Let me ask you: How many of you have problem with sleeping? If you have, can you key me 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 you know, so that I know you have problem with sleeping, so that I can help you right now. Can you key, can you key in right now the comments and let me know how many of you here have problem with sleeping? If you have, just say me. Uh, yes, okay, good, good, good. Your key, yes. Okay, good, good, good. It's the same, right? So anyway, I can see that, you know what? A lot of people have problem with sleeping. Right now. Or rest doesn't. Uh, yeah, that's why I added rest as a superman. Uh, uh, he have undergo, uh, <laughs> I think he undergo uh, super training, uh, okay? All right, so if you want to be like him, you know what? They undergo my training. Then after that, I'll show you how you can don't sleep so much and yet you still can perform so well, all right? Uh, Rash make you guys sleep less. I know uh, this guy is crazy, man. Rash, you know, I can see that three o'clock still trading, four o'clock still trading. Then seven thirty is up there doing exercises with everyone. I tell you, I don't think I have this kind of energy, like, You know, right? But anyway, I'm a lot more older than him, okay? But anyway, uh, but anyway, I used to struggle a lot. Like, let me tell you. But let me share with you my secret on how I actually become uh super body. How I actually have become uh, how I actually have super body right now, okay? So in fact, you know that uh. My age, uh, I'm actually 44 years old. A lot of people say I look so much younger than 44 years old. So I always tell people that I'm, I'm actually Benjamin Button. So as I grow older, I become younger. Okay. So, and here's the fact, you know, uh, I'm 44 years old, but do you know my biological clock, my biological age is only 28. Yeah, I'm only 28, right? Because I, I, I test, I do the Omron machine and all that, you know. So when I'm 44, but my inside is actually 28. And there's a reason for it. And let me show you how to become... Uh, so much younger than you actually are, all right? So now, next thing is this now. Let me show you the sleep statistic. Do you know that 30% of adults' population suffer from insomnia? And in fact, 10% have chronic insomnia. They cannot even sleep at all. I have a friend right now. I can tell you what time is it now. One o'clock. I can tell you he have not even sleep yet. He not even sleep yet. I can tell you. And I think he should be sleeping soon. Now, okay? Then he'll wake up in the evening. I can tell you this is very bad timing, you know, because he told me he cannot sleep at all. And let me tell you why. I have problem with sleeping as well, okay? Let me tell you why. Because I have sleep apnea. I sleep near, right? And do you know that based on this statistic, it says that you know what? One almost one billion people is like nine hundred over million people have sleep apnea problem. But the issue is, but the thing is why a lot of them are not diagnosed. A lot of people are not diagnosed. You know how many of you know that there are people who snore? How many of you have right? You have a lot of friends who snore, right? I tell you, and not just that. You know, it doesn't mean that you don't snore. You don't sleep apnea problem, Okay. So here's the thing. You know what? Right? A lot of people have sleep apnea problem. It's just that they don't know about it only. And I have sleep apnea issues. In fact, when I was young, I even went to see doctors. I went to hospital, I get tested and officially diagnosed with sleep apnea. And the doctor asked me to buy those crap machines you know, so that they can 
shoot the oxygen up la. then I'm like wow well, this machine is so difficult to sleep so i didn't use it lor. so i was suffering with it all the while la, you know so now how do you know whether do you have good sleep or not all right now let you can what you can do is right now there's a lot of tracker you can use no uh, like these are the trackers that that's available right now microsoft band jawbone fitbit aura ring i'm using aura ring that means i just wear the ring and then i fall asleep so the next day i will know whether do i have very good sleep or not so first thing you do is that you want to know whether do you have good sleep is your body healthy or not you need to know whether are you sleeping well that is the key thing in life okay so you can get any one of these uh, just go and buy anytime okay so after that uh when you this is my sleep result so after i need to sleep eight to nine hours one every day confirm if not i will feel very groggy yeah you know? i feel very agitated the whole day is like wasted just lying down there don't feel like doing anything so i need at least eight to nine hours of sleep so these are my results okay you see uh, my deep sleep uh is 11 percent my rnc is 22 percent my rnc is 19 my deep sleep is eight you know uh rnc is 22 uh, this is seven so let's look at red color red color means it's very bad lah blue color means it's okay all right so rem usually you need 20 over percent okay to 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 re detox well now what is rem rem is when your brain will detox uh, when when you are detoxing your brain well when you're detoxing your brain well you have good rem sleep okay deep sleep means you are detoxing and repairing your body rem is repairing the brain and detox the brain deep sleep is repair the body and detox the body if you don't have deep sleep your body is not repairing it well if you don't have good rem sleep your brain is not repairing the brain well you understand okay so that's why i used to have very bad sleep all because of uh sleep apnea sleep apnea okay i have sleep apnea problem okay because of that let me tell you i have very bad sleep all the time so what we do very simple i go and study neural sound wave i go and use neural sound wave now look at it remember the chart which chart are we which which wave should we be in to have very good deep sleep all right so we go through this before it is delta wave go ahead now delta wave right so delta wave will give you very good deep sleep yeah. okay so delta wave can give you very good deep sleep so what i do is very simple all i do is just listen to the brain simulator because in the brain simulator the last part is actually sleep simulation okay sleep simulation basically to let me go from uh for my usual wave of beta in night slowly you go to alpha theta and that uh beta alpha theta and then delta that you make me fall asleep and let me have very good deep sleep okay so now and now here's the thing now those people who are always in beta or gamma okay you know what you're facing you are facing this thing called insomnia the reason why you have insomnia you cannot sleep is because you are always in beta and gamma mode okay so that's why you need to bring yourself to the delta mode right so that's those so that you can sleep and all you need to do is listen to the sound wave and you will be able to sleep really really well okay so now a lot of people ask me is there any side effect for sound wave or not okay the sound wave is actually exercising for the brain you know in fact i spoke to a doctor the doctor asked me what do you do i said i do neural sound wave training so the doctor said hey, well neural sound wave is actually very good no why because the i asked him what do you think of it he said that because sound wave is the only thing that can simulate the neurons it's the only thing that can simulate the neurons and when the simulate the neuron is simulated you can you are actually training your brain to be stronger it's basically like exercising for the brain like, as simple as that like. so is there any side effect yes it is if you feel that being stronger is a side effect then i tell you this is a very good side effect like, you know all right so that's why i use this all the time okay so now next thing let me show you this uh, study this research all right this shows that using sound wave can help you have better when sleep we detected that people were in deep sleep we played the deep sleep stimulating sound that was shown to make them have deeper sleep I'm going to demo this sound for you right now. Pretty weird, right? <laughs> so that sound is actually at the same burst frequency as your brain waves when your brain is in deep sleep. That sound pattern actually primes your mind to have more of these regenerative delta waves. When we asked participants the next day about the sounds, they were completely unaware that we played the sounds, yet their brains responded with more of these delta waves. 
Here's an image of someone's brain waves from the study that we conducted. See the bottom panel? This shows the sound being played at that burst frequency. Now look at the brain waves in the upper part of the graph. You can see from the graph that the sound is actually producing more of these regenerative delta waves. We learned that we could accurately track sleep without hooking people up to electrodes and make people sleep deeper. All right, so you can see this research says that you know, the, when they play the neuronal sound wave, you are actually going, you're able to go to deep sleep a lot more. Okay, right? so that's why this is something that I use every single day right now, right? And here's the thing now, before I use my sound wave, this is my result. So after I use the neuronal sound wave, I listen to it every single day, right? You can see my REM sleep went up so much. My deep sleep went to 22%, you no, know, uh, 29% for REM, this sleep for 26%, you know what? And you know, everything is blue right now. And every single day, I'm blue color. That means that every day, my brain is repairing very well and my body is repairing so good, all right? And here's the thing, here's the most interesting thing. I posted this in Facebook not too long ago. I say, you know, on average, I need eight to nine hours of sleep because of sleep and am an issue, all right? And I always feel tired if I have less than eight to nine hours. But after I use the sound wave training, all that, you know what, I only need six to seven hours a day only, right? Six to seven hours a day. And not only that, you know what? Uh, I still have very good sleep there, you know? And in fact, the last few days, I only sleep about six hour plus. Six hour plus seven hours compared to eight to nine hours. Let me ask you, do you know I actually save two hours a day? I save two hours a day from sleeping eh? and yet I still have very good deep sleep. Eh? Two hours a day in a week is 14 hours. Eh? You know, in a year, I actually save 30 days, you know? Yeah, do you know what you can do with these 30 days? Now? You can do what you can do with these two hours a day. You, know? you can go and learn investing. Okay, now learn how to read chart. You can start a new business, you know. So now you see, even though I still have sleep apnea problem, but at least my sleep are very good quality sleep. It does not make me tired anymore. You understand or not? So I cannot cure, but I can improve on it. All right. Okay. So now this sleep, having the benefit of having high quality sleep is that you're able to uh, have energy restoration, your uh, cell regeneration. That's why I keep looking younger and younger. Oh, this is one of the reasons. Okay. And it in increase our blood supply. It, it promote our growth and repair of tissue and bone. And you have strength, uh, strong immunity system. And uh, that's why I haven't fall sick for a very long time really. And this is the reason why, because I have very good sleep and repair my body really well. A good REM sleep means I uh, improve concentration, uh, mood regulation. You don't always keep getting angry all the time. Your higher creativity and more productive and you're able to clear your heart this so that you can absorb more information every single day you know what and you know what having a good sleep will enhance your result by two to three times more if you come for this training you know you activate your sensory your motor skill and all these things right you know if you have good sleep every day it will enhance your results by two to three times more you understand no? all right so now let me ask you another question stress do you have stress or not guys do you have stress or not are you easily angry no? right? Do you think about work all the time no? uh, Can you focus now? Do you have insomnia no? uh, Your body don't feel well, always sick. Uh, inability to relax, loss of sexual desire ability. Now, all these things is all due to stress. Very high stress level, okay, you will have this. Now, what happened when you have very high stress level is that you don't know that five out of six leading causes of death are all caused by stress. Yeah, your heart disease uh, and all these things, stroke, cancer, all these things are caused by stress. You can say no. Okay, so now let me tell you about stress. Okay, in fact, a lot of people think that, uh, yeah, they always feel that I'm not stressful at all. Uh, you know what? But I tell you, in this modern day, modern society, majority of people are feeling stress. They just that they don't know about it only. All right. So let me show you this thing now. Let me show you this stress result. Now, if you want to know, want to track your stress result, all you need to do is go and take a blood test. Take a blood test. And then you go and take this marker called cortisol. Cortisol will measure your stress level. Okay, now look at my cortisol. This blood test was taken in 2018, okay? October 2018, all right? My cortisol is 51, okay, 51. The range of the cortisol level is between 50 to 230. 50 to 230, this is the range. So let me ask you this question. I am 51. I'm 51. Am I good or am I bad? Uh, let me ask you. Can you key in the comment? Am I good or am I bad? The measurement is 50 to 230. I am 51. So am I good or am I bad? Let me uh, know. Say good or bad. Can you key in the comment right now? <laughs> Eunice, you said you're going to die early. Don't die early. Lah, you know, there's actually a very easy way around it. Lah. You can leave. 
a very long life, right? So let me know, 51, is it good or bad? Okay, 51, you say it's good, all right? So is it good or bad? 51, guys, let me know. Uh, Joseph said it's good, all right? Okay, uh, Uni say it's good, okay? So now, guys. No, 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 this is not about health. This is about brain, all right? It's about using brain to accelerate and give you the best result in life. Okay, well, everyone say it's good. You know what? Actually, okay, 50 to, 50 to 230, 50 is bad. 230 is bad. What you should do is be in the middle. Be in the middle. 100, 150 is the best range to be in. You understand now? So if you're lower, the stress is different kind of stress. If you're very high, the stress is different kind of stress. All right. So anything that's below and the top is considered very, very bad. Imagine 50 is the lowest limit I can go. And yet I'm 51. And that means I can die anytime soon. <laughs> all right. Anyway, just joking. Okay. So anyway, so that's why what I do is all right, I start to listen to the sound wave. I start to do the training. So at night, I sleep well. My brain repair well. My body repair well. You know what? I had a hard time bringing out my cortisol level to the middle part. You know what? A lot of the, every time, let me ask you, you go and see doctor. You tell doctor, hey doctor, I feel very stressful. You know what the doctor say? Oh, you sleep well, you rest well, you drink well, you don't eat so much, you know, you don't eat fried food, you know, you exercise. That is always the excuses they give you, the reasons they give you. But let me tell you, this doesn't work. I try to relax, I try to sleep well, but it doesn't work. You know what? Until I start using the neural sound wave. Right? I, uh, when I start using the neural sound wave, you know what happened? They start to sleep, I start to sleep well. I start to sleep well, I start to uh, uh, be optimal, perform at optimum level. Then after that, you know what happened? After I listening, only just uh, not too long, busy, maybe a few months or so, you know. Then I decided, uh, one year later, I decided, hey, uh, how about I forget about this? So I said, oh, no, I'm going to take some blood tests again, All right? So I actually went to take a blood test a few months later, okay? So you can see, uh, it's uh, 2019. My cortisol level become 107. 107, okay? Now, guys, let me ask you this, you know? I tried for years to make my cortisol level at the perfect range. Now, I don't even need to try. I just listen to the neural sound wave. And my cortisol level went up to the perfect level. You understand? So there is no more stress in my body. I remove the stress from my body completely. Do you know how I feel every day right now? You know what? I feel like, wow, superhuman. Uh, yeah? uh, I may not be as strong as, strong as rest, uh, you know, but you know what? I feel that uh, for my age, I think I'm perfect really. Uh, I'm very good really. I'm very happy about it. Uh, okay? okay? So that's how uh, we are able to be healthier, to live a better life, and to optimize your, your, your body to self so that you can achieve. If you want to achieve anything in life, to be a better trader, to be a uh, to do, do a better, better entrepreneur, you need to optimize your body. You need to make your body, be your body better so that you can achieve this. Right? Correct, right? You know, if you keep falling sick, how are you supposed to achieve all this? Right? So the last thing which I share with you is this thing called uh, activate uh, your sensory perception. Now, this is a bit, a bit, uh, uh unbelievable first let me tell you it's a bit unbelievable okay now let's but let me explain to you how this thing works so what we do is that this neural sound wave training that we have actually activates your midbrain and the cerebellum all right so we activate activate these two parts so now what does these two parts do let me show you an example first now now before i do that have you guys do you guys remember the uh tsunami the phuket tsunami now uh, let's have a look at this video this is the phuket tsunami all right Okay, so this is the Phuket tsunami that has happened like 10 plus years ago, right? And this Phuket tsunami, well, is uh, it's a very big natural disaster, lah. Okay, so now let me ask you this question. Okay, so now let me ask you this question. Now, this Phuket tsunami. Let me ask you this question. How do you know how many people died in this Phuket tsunami? Actually, there are 230,000 people died in this Phuket tsunami. Okay, 230,000 people died in this Phuket tsunami, and that is a lot of people there's a lot of people right and do you know how many animals died in this tsunami you know huh? i tell you very very little animal died in this tsunami you know why let me ask you this do you think they can sense the tsunami can the animal sense the tsunami you know you can if you go and you watch um uh youtube 
Okay, you go out, watch YouTube. Uh, there are actually videos that talks about the animals. Eh. You know, there's one video that says that you know what? Uh, when uh, before the tsunami came, okay, the the in Phuket, right, the tourists were like riding on the elephant, okay, riding on the elephant. So when it was riding on the elephant, the, the elephant was walking. Then suddenly the elephant can sense something bad is coming. So the elephant actually start to start to run up the mountain so the trainer was like trying to pull the elephant it's like oh my god what happened to this elephant it's gone crazy you know then but you know, of course the elephant is too strong for the trainer so what i do they run together with the elephant and the tourists they all run to the top of the mountain then after that what happened the tsunami came poof, and it killed 230,000 people and the elephant have saved the human the the, the tourist and his guide you understand no? so a lot of people ask so what does it mean that animals have six sense you understand? No? So this thing is what we call sensory perception. Sensory perception. Being able to sense things. Do you know that actually last time we humans are the same, you know? We actually have sensory perception. Right? Yeah. You know why? Because we stay with the animals. Remember, we used to stay with the animals in the wild. Uh, in the wild. Yeah? And what happened to the human sensory perception? It is the human sensory perception. You know what happened? Is that we start to build houses. We start to build condo. We start to build uh, uh, apartments and all that. And why? It blocks all our sensory perception. And we start to use technology, handphone, computer. It makes our brain lazy. Right? So that's why over the years as we evolve, our sensory perception have disappeared. Have disappeared. Okay. So now here's the thing. Okay. Now, I let my son listen to this brain simulator once a day at least sometimes even two times a day right at least once a day because he's autistic it will help you it will help kids with neurons issues like adhd autistic add and all that it will help them it will not cure them but it will help them tremendously just like you help my son okay so i let him listen to this uh twice a day if you have afternoon nap he'll listen to it if not he just listen to it at night all right and and you know what i let my son try how to sense color Okay, and this is his first try. Now let's have a look at this. Okay, really? Let me give you another card. Okay, what card? Eh. Hey. Wow. Okay, ready? Okay, ready? Nah, what card is this? Is it green? Yeah. Okay, so he guessed. This is actually the second card. Let me tell you. This is actually, that's why I said I show you another card. Okay, this is the second card. So the first two cards, he actually guessed it correctly. All right. So I'm so excited. I asked my helper. And Nova is actually my helper. I said, hey, can you come and see? Can you come and see? No. All right. So I actually go and block all his uh, sight and even his nose, lah, you know. Uh, so to show him, uh, then I give him another card to show him. Hey, uh, can you guess what's the color of this one? Jonas, what card is this? Is it blue? No, blue again. Is it yellow? Yeah. Yep, so you guess it correctly. Yeah. All right. Okay, come. Okay, let's view it, okay? What card is this? Is it yellow? Is it green? No, similar to green. Near to green, close to green. So, so some people, they have to smell it. They have to smell the color. They have to feel the color. So you see, he got it. When he smelled the color, he got it. All right. So here's the thing now. Uh, so some of you. Okay. So some of you. Uh, uh, some of you say, is this third eye? I tell you, I, I, I don't, I can't tell you why is it. Like, okay. You can call it third eye. You can call it Tian Yi. You can call it anything that you want. But it's able to improve using your brain to look at things, to sense things rather than the eyes itself. So it's your sensory will become a lot stronger. All right. Yeah, it's like watching X-Men, right? Yeah, I'm also surprised, you know, this is my son. This is not someone else, you know, to see him perform in this way, right? And this is even, this is just his first try, okay? Now, I'm not saying everyone will be like this, okay? I don't want to push this. I don't want to say that when you listen to this brain simulator, you will be like this. No, I won't. I'm not going to say that because some people have this talent. Some people don't have this talent, all right? But for those people who have this talent, you're able to sense the card. You know what? Please contact me, okay? After you go through this training, you're able to sense numbers, you sense card. You know what? Please contact me because I want to ask you for lottery numbers, huh? okay? <laughs> okay? So, so there are also there are also uh, other countries uh, like India that people is able to sense you know and these kids is able to look at sense color across the room 
Then you can see green color. Okay. So anyway, I just just speed it up. Lah. I don't want to focus too much on this. Right? And there's these kids uh, just by putting the 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 card down and shuffling it, just by using sensing, right? This kid is able to rearrange the card. Okay, rearrange the card exactly to one to ten. Right. So Right, so this is the power of sensory perception. Okay, there's even this article that in the New York Times it say that Brian may be able to see. So there's this guy, you know, he has two strokes, two successful strokes, and this stroke left him blind, make him blind. And then you know what? They do some training on this guy, and you know what? And the doctor go and record this blind man. He put obstacles on the floor, and the blind man can walk by walk and avoid the obstacle okay and this man is blind okay this is recorded by a doctor you know what so so this is pretty amazing things that will happen uh, you know and this doctor actually says that you know what the more educated you are the less likely that you believe this thing works one i tell you okay so you actually the brain have a lot of resources okay to help you to unlock the potential in you but if you are too educated too academic i can tell you you are just too one direction and too one way you cannot believe that this thing will work for you okay so that's why all right sensory perception is able the ability to read people okay the better in negotiation the better in judgment able to learn new skills so much faster okay that's what sensory perception is about all right so now and able to see things before it happen uh, so some call it sixth sense, some call it third eye, some call it thin. Yeah, I don't know. Like, you know, you can call it anything that you want, but it is definitely beneficial to you and your kids. Especially kids, it's easier to train in kids because kids, when they're still young, their cortex are not hardened yet. So anytime when we listen to the sound wave, it pump in and it train them better. All right. Okay. So now, and do you need sensory perception in stocks or not? You know, now, now I saw this article, this data science, it says that, is it possible to predict stocks with a neural network? What is neural network? Neural network is actually modeled after the human brain eh, to design to recognize pattern. All right. Eh, and they interpret sensory data. So you see, if you want to have this good feeling that this stock will go up or down, you need sensory perception okay this will give you and make you a better trader right because right, even the formula are modeled after the human's pattern right? you understand not? okay so now for kids right, they're able to be better at language learning and better behavior will not embarrass you in public and they're able to self-regulate emotions you know my son have outbreak right? he always have outbreak because he's autistic so right now after listening to it you know what he become very nice right? i tell you seriously i, I sometimes i i don't even know uh, why you know uh, it just work like you know, and you're able to show empathy towards friend and family you know what my son tell i love you all the time okay and i see my friends kids they don't say that you know even though my son autistic kids doesn't have much emotions let me tell you that's why they are very direct but he still can express his emotion to us all right so the changes i see in my son you know he can tell you that oh i have a very bad dream i want to go and take a rest well he can do that you know last time he doesn't do that you know and he's very smart he can get a subject very fast and he have much lesser meltdown right now and he understand what is right and what is wrong really even though sometimes it's still a bit naughty like you know and when he's wrong he will actually apologize to it okay and because because sensory perception is part of eq all right and he's actually a lot more patient and you know what? actually my wife was watching the ipad recently and said that, hey you're not allowed to watch ipad you know you want to pay fine you know you know what i was pretty funny like you know when you say that you know uh, to see a kid saying that right and not only that his wife he's actually i feel that he's quite talented like, you know when he was six years old he actually built a lego and he can use a handphone to control the movement of the lego yeah when i look at it i'm like wow how does he even do that like, you know what Okay. so that's about bringing out the talent in him uh. even when six years old he can start building his own tech toy uh, okay so now ultimately sensory perception is all it's also about eq now i tell you iq is intelligent ability to manage ideas knowledge and thoughts okay eq is the ability to manage people manage relationship with other people now iq is great but there's a limit to your achievement let me tell you all right and eq is there to break that limit and make you succeed in this world now let me ask you do you think eq is more important or iq is more important okay if you go and do the research you can see it actually says that eq is more important than iq 71 percent of employee value eq more than iq you know why not? because uh those with more high eq will get promoted better than people with iq 
right? So I tell you what, train your kids with EQ instead of IQ. You know why? Because IQ can bring them further. You know who have very high IQ now? You know who have very high, very high IQ? Robots and computer. Yeah, robots and computer have very high IQ. You know, within the seconds, they can read hundreds and thousands of books. Right? Can you do that as a human? You can't. So what human is to replace uh, robots and computer is to replace human with high IQ. But robots cannot replace high EQ. You understand? So the future is all about people with high EQ. It's no longer with high IQ, really. Robots will do that, okay? So now, let's talk about this brain simulator. Now, this is a brain simulator. What you get right now is a digital version because uh, it's very difficult to ship this overseas. You may get, I don't know, you were brought in a custom and all that. So we digitize this thing for you, all right? So first, let's talk about this. It's chapter one. When you listen to it, it's all together 25 minutes. 25 minutes only, all right? So you listen to it, you're relaxed in the meditation mode. Then after chapter two is that you train your right brain, creativity and problem solving skill. After they go to chapter three, you are synchronize your left and right brain, reduce your stress and focus your uh, improvement. After that, number four is chapter four is to improve your motor skill and sensory perception. Then number five is improve your long-term memory, okay? So just by listening to this for 25 minutes, you're able to get all this benefit. And not only that, the course itself also involves all the chart, all the training, perception training, uh, all the vision training as well, okay? So now, how do you use your neural sound wave? Okay, the digital version is that uh, you listen to it every day, 30 days, Listen to it for 30 days. What I suggest is every day for 30 days is only 25 minutes. When you listen to it, try to close your eyes. We you try to close your eyes and listen to it. I don't do things, okay? Because when you do things, you will have brain wave moving around and the brain wave will crash with the neural sound wave. So try to relax, don't do anything, just close your eyes and then let the system, let the sound wave do the work, okay? So after 30 days, just listen to it one to two days for maintenance. You'll see the biggest changes one month later. Okay, and after that, we also will give you the sound wave, a sleep sound wave. So you listen to it and you go to sleep. That's it, as simple as that. Okay, so now here's what's happening is that okay, this, we all our training are actually in our class, in our in my office. But right now with COVID, we cannot do any more training in the office anymore. So we are digitizing the whole training syllabus. So right now we are all uploading this training into an online platform. All right, and right now we are still uploading it because it's a tremendous amount of training. And right now we will take about three to four weeks, four weeks, I'll give us about four weeks to finish uploading it. Okay, once you finish uploading it, I will send you the email. Okay, we'll send you, we'll contact you, we'll give you the login, the password to log in so that you can start your training immediately. So every class is about 30 to 40 minutes, uh, right? 30 to 40 minutes. All right, 30 to 40 minutes. And there'll be weekly training. So every week, just lock in. We'll inform you the training is here. Lock in and do the training. It's about 30 to 40 minutes, okay? And the neural sound wave will be in the website for you to listen to. And there'll be all instructions will be there to teach you how to use. Okay, so we have some questions. They say that what if you listen and then you fall asleep? You are supposed to listen and fall asleep. That is what you're supposed to do, okay? For the sleep sound wave, yeah, even for the for the uh, uh, brain simulator training, you can also listen and fall asleep, okay? The best is you don't do anything, okay? Everything is you're supposed to do when you're not doing anything. So that it, the, that's why the best time to listen to all this is actually when you're sleeping, okay? Four years old is fine. Four years old is okay, okay? Uh, actually, you know, for kids, uh, the younger they start, the better it is, eh, you know? Uh, if you've done a lot of research, uh, you realize that the first 12 years of development in the kids uh, is all developing the brain. The first 12 years if you miss these 12 years that means you miss the chance to develop it zero to 12 is the fastest they develop it from 12 to until 20 is where is what did they develop what they develop puberty that's where they start to grow you know puberty like that's where they develop the body okay so so development phase is the younger the better the more benefit you will see from there okay all right so now Ah, some people will be asking how much I can you like so cheap, like, okay? Okay, so now let me tell you, okay? So this is now me and my family are all in optimal health. That's why we are so successful in our life, okay? We stay in the central of Orchard. My son is in Nanyang, the number one primary school in Singapore. You know what? It's all because of luck. You think is it because of luck? If you think it's all because of luck, then okay, lah, you know? But to me, I feel that because of the fact that we put in so much effort in trying to improve ourselves, that's why we are able to go to the best. 
when able to get the best. You know what? My 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 school is all closed down already. Let me tell you, my family all cannot study, but my children all will, will, all will benefit from that. And not only that, you know, what? business has been good because of the creativity, because of the focus I have. I build the business, I close the business, I build the business, I close the business. You know, I make so much money. You know what I'm saying? So now even in COVID, uh, let me tell you, uh, I tell you, I don't even bother. Now a lot of people want to do webinar, go and make money. I tell you, I don't even bother. Now it's a good time for me to take a rest. It's not because of rest win. I won't be here speaking to you on this. Uh, okay. All right. It's all because of it. Okay. Now, this training is actually perfect for the whole family the whole family all right and this is not a learning class so remember this you don't come here this is not like those stock training or you have to remember or oh, the candlestick like all that no 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 this is not a learning class this is a transformational class you come and do the activity to simulate your brain immediately while doing the activity together all right so it's basically training uh, transforming your family the whole family into a super family like my family all right okay Good. Okay, someone asked, is there any side effect? I tell you, there's totally no side effect at all. Okay, if you feel that having a super body is a side effect, then that is the good bad side effect for you. Okay, so let me come to a close soon. So now, as you can see, let's talk about human brain development again. So you can see, when you're newborn, you have 20%. All right, so when you are growing, it goes to 30%. All right, so you use your brain simulator, listen to it. For those people who are newborn, all the way until 30 plus, when you listen to it, it actually grows your neuron more, grows it more. Okay, grows it more. The more you have, the smarter you become, and uh, the better a person you'll be, the better trader, the better investor you'll be. So those that are on 30 plus onward, 30, 40 plus onward, okay, what you do is because your brain cannot grow anymore, your neuron cannot grow anymore, we enhance your brain. We make your neurons stronger. They stay stronger. They connect to each other stronger so that they don't lose out so fast. They don't die off so fast, okay? So by your 50 years old, you still have 70% neurons in your brain. And this way, we will remove dementia from you and your family, okay? So now, let me ask you, do you know why I advocate for neurotechnology? Why? It's all because of these two person, my grandmother and my children. Look, my, ma my grandmother have dementia. It's neuron issue, brain problem. My son is autistic. It's also neuron issue, you see? So I'm sandwiched in between the two generations. So right now, you know what? I stop all my every other businesses I have, you know, I pass it on to my second generation, my CEO, so that I can focus on this training to help people, to help you, so that you don't suffer the same thing that I go through. Do you understand? So that you don't let your family, your parents, your kids be the same. Okay? Let them be improved. There is a solution out there. Just look for the solution. Just use the solution. As simple as that. All right? Okay? So now, this is our class in Singapore. Okay, this is our class. You can see a lot of people. All right. So, how much I charge? This is how much I charge. Every person in Singapore is $1,066.79. Okay, this is how much I charge. Right. And here's the thing. Right. Uh, if you look at the folder here, okay, this is a folder here. All right. These are my customers' receipt. Okay, these are my customer receipt. The amount of customers that we have. Okay, so now you can see every one of them is $1,066.79 because of tax, uh, you know. And here's the thing. Every person that come in is $1,000. If a family of four that come in is $4,000, we charge by per person, okay. But here's the thing. Because Resh is a very good friend of mine. He's a very good buddy of mine. In fact, since I've his first mentor, I have to do something special for him. Correct now, am I right? Okay. So in Singapore, the two-day class is actually 1,066.79 per person. All right. A family of four is $4,267 per person. All right. So here's the thing. Since we are doing this first time in the international arena, we want to have as many international customers as possible. And I want to do donation and help as many people as possible and help you as well. So here's the deal I'm going to show you. All right. So very simple. You can come in for only $397 per person. That's all. Just $397 per person. That's all. And not only that, okay, I am not going to train you for two days. I'm not going to train you for two days. I want to train you for one whole year. I want to train you for one whole year. Now, here's the thing. Now, after this one whole year, if you feel that after going through the weekly training, you feel that you don't become smarter, you don't become have better memory, your life never improves. You know what? Can you tell me? I return you the money. $377 is nothing. Yeah, I return you the money. But I can tell you, if you follow exactly what I share with you, within a couple of weeks, uh, I can tell you, even in the first month, you can see drastic changes in you. 
or your family, okay? And not only that, you know, in the next few months, I can tell you, you will see whatever thing that you're doing, your career, your investment, your entrepreneurship, I tell you, you will have better results. You'll see even faster results than your peers, okay? And I'm going to do something that I've never done before, okay? I've never done this before, and I don't think I will do this ever again, is that you don't just come for, three, it's just only $397 per, $397, and I'll train you for one year, and not only that, I'll train your whole family for free. Your whole family, you, your brother, your sister, your father, your mother, your grandfather, your grandmother, your daughter, uh, your, uh, your daughter, your son, your grandchildren, your granddaughter, your grand grandson. Every single one of you in the family, I train you guys for free for only three hundred and ninety-seven dollars. I tell you, I think this is a damn good deal. You won't see a deal like this anymore. Okay. So now, plus. Plus, I'm going to give you a $2,000 free gift for the first 30 people. The first 30 people, uh, uh, I'm going to get, I get rest to all the team to go and count down. But so what I want you to do right now is I want you to go to this website and fill in your details while you listen to this $2,000 free gift. I'm going to give this to you. I never give this to anyone before. So I'm going to give it to you today. And nobody can access this except you. So go to, open a new browser, go to www.ewsubmit.biz slash jazz, J -A -Z. Okay, I want you to go there now. So we will start looking at the number of order. Once we hit 30, we will remove this uh, bonus for you guys already. Okay, so www.ewsummit.biz slash jazz. Okay, so now what I'm going to share with you is this now. A lot of people know that, you know, uh, I'm very good with doing business. Okay. I'm one of the top entrepreneurs in Singapore. I win countless awards. Okay, I have supercar and fancy house and all that, you know, but all these are not important. The more important thing is how I do it. Okay. So what I'm gonna what, 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 what I'm gonna share with you is this now. I have constantly trained a lot of people. It's not just me who is successful. I have trained people to be successful as well. So there's this student of mine. Within the first year, he went on to do one million dollar in his business. Okay, one million dollar in his business. You know, I've taught Rash Bean. Right, to do online business many years ago. And you know what? He became a millionaire. But you know what? I want to give you something even better than that. I want to give you the most updated, updated online business training that I have done that help people become multi-millionaire. So I have this training called Multi-Millionaire Mastermind. And in fact, those people that come for this training, those participants you see sitting there, they actually pay $5,000 per person to be there. It's not $2,000. So the gift that I'm going to give you is not $2,000. It is actually $5,000. And the first 30 people that register right now will get this, this free gift, multi-millionaire mastermind, plus the genius transformation brain training. All right. And now, why is this multi-millionaire mastermind? Very simple. Okay. I will share with you my business, how, what kind of business I do. And I'll tell you, if you don't have idea what business you should do, I will tell you and share with you what kind of idea you should have and what kind of products you should sell. And not only that, where to find the products and not only that, how to put in your offer, how to create your own offer, how the, your, the products to sell. And not only that, I'll teach you how to reach millions of people with very, very little money. And not only that, I'll just show you how celebrity, now how people use live stream to make more money than their job. Look at this, Fang Mi Bing, she make more money live stream than filming movie. Do you want to make more money in live stream than your job? I'm going to show you how to do that, all right? And how we use, how we sell in WhatsApp, how we sell in all the messenger, how we sell in all the channel, and how to find people to sell products for you, and where to find people to sell your products. And for those people who want to sell in China, how to sell in China, who to look for without you going to China. You know, China is the biggest market in the world. I'll show you how to do that, who to look for. In fact, this is just 20% of what I'm going to share with you. Right? There's a lot more and that's why people pay $5,000 for this. And now what? I'm going to give this to you for the first 30 people who register. So what I suggest is faster go and register for this. Now, well, a lot of people say this is better than Peng Joon. Right? Obvious, uh, obviously, it's better than Peng Joon because I am more experienced than Peng Joon. Right? Okay, <laughs> anyway, just kidding. Right? Peng Joon is a good friend of mine. Right? Okay, okay. so anyway, okay. not only that, not only that, guys, I'm going to give you something very, very special. You know what? Yesterday, I have a phone call with Resh. I have a phone call with Resh, right? I said, hey, Resh, you know what? Since this is my first time, uh, I want to give your students, uh, your, your, your participant, even better deal. Right? So I haggle him, uh, I twist his arm. Uh, then finally he said, okay, now, okay, now, okay, now, please don't do this anymore. I said, okay, okay. So those who sign up right now, you know what? Resh have a training tomorrow afternoon. 
tomorrow afternoon. Okay, tomorrow afternoon, what he's going to do is he will do this newbie supernova training. Okay, this is going to uh, cost, I, I don't know how much, but it's definitely quite a lot of money. Now, okay, so this supernova training is to teach you how to analyze company, how to invest, how to do your first trade. It's basically taking you from zero all the way to the top. All right, and this is for those people who sign up right now. Right, and you can attend the training. You cannot attend the training tomorrow afternoon. It's okay. It's recorded, and I may do something even special for you. Okay, but I will tell you shortly in the short while. Uh, how what, what what special is this? Okay, so now here's the thing. All right, so now go to www.ewsummit.biz/slash jazz right now. And one last thing I want to share with you before I go, before I go, is that I want to do charity. Okay, and I want to help Rashvin hit his crazy one million dollar charity goal. This is what I want to do right now. Okay, so here's the thing. Now, before you sign up for Genius Transformation, now if you go and sign up right now, okay, here's the thing. Listen, Poppy, yeah. Okay, if you go and sign up right now, this three hundred and ninety-seven dollar, you know what? I'll give you even further discount. You only need to come in for only two hundred and ninety-seven dollar. And what I want you to do with the hundred dollar saving is, can you please donate this to charity? Please donate the hundred dollar to charity. All right, and you know what? When you donate, please write your name, so that people know that you have helped them, and people know that you care. You understand what I'm trying to say? This money to me is not important, but to them, it is very important. So please, let's help you, your family, and the needy. It's only two hundred ninety-seven dollar to change you, your family, to train you guys for one whole year. But there's only one condition: is the hundred dollar that you save. Please donate it to charity. All right. Okay. So that's all I have for now. Thank you. I hope to see you guys soon.